Hello everyone, welcome to this section where we are going to discuss our sixth interview question. The question is count pairs with given sum. Now in this particular question, we have given an array and the k value which is the sum value to achieve and we need to figure out the number of pairs that can be possible which is equals to that value which is k. So let's discuss the question with an example. Suppose we have an array containing initial elements as follows. Now what are the number of pairs we need to take to achieve a sum of 6. So the one pair we can have is 1 plus 5 which is the value taken from here and here. Other we can take is this one and this one. This is another pair which is 5 plus 1. So this is the two values which we gonna take that will give us a value as 6. So this is what actually the ask is how many this type of pairs are possible from the given array to achieve the value of this k using a particular logic or solution we need to implement and that is the ask of the question. So if you understand the question now let's understand the solution for the given question. So to implement we will first write another list which is having all the elements as zero and number of elements containing in that particular list is thousand. So the purpose of this m is to store the number of count of each element in this particular array and it is going to store the number of count in their particular indexes. So let's try to understand that one. So first of all we implement it then we'll try to understand the logic behind it. Now so it has updated all the count values. So if we take an example here a equals to 1 5 7 1 5. Now the m is storing the highest value among all the element is 7 so total we take 7 places so based upon the element so first comes 1 so in this for loop first comes 1 so 1 is existing twice in this particular list so we are going to update 2 here similarly 5 is coming twice 7 is coming once and all other elements are not occurring so we are putting it 0. So current value of m is this one. So that is the what we are doing here. We are storing the count of each element in this initial array to their particular index value of m. Now once we understood this one, let's take another step here which is initializing our variable name as twice count. So the initial value here we initialize it to 0. What is the purpose of twice count? It tracks the count of each pairs. Why it is written twice? That we are going to understand once we finish this for loop. So for i in range, we will iterate it again from 0 to n. Now here we are going to add our twice count with the initial value of twice count which value the value will be m of sum minus arr of i so what it is doing is suppose this is the step if you have initially tc is 0 twice count and it is searching by dividing 6 minus the initial element which is 1 suppose then searching is there any data inside m5 so if we have here suppose value as 2 then please add this value to tc so tc is going to be updated with the initial value of tc to the value of the which we get received in this to 2 so now the updated value of tc in the first particular iteration will be now once we did this, we need to proceed to the further step. 
the only conditional checks we have to do is that there should not be any situation in which the ARR of I plus ARR of I is giving us the sum because here we can't take the same element repeatedly like 1 1 or 5 5 we can't take it like this to get the repetition of this output okay so in this situation we need to neglect this situation so to neglect this situation we need to write a if condition there so the if condition should be if sum minus ARR of I equals to equals to ARR of I then please decrement that particular count with 1 so twice count negation with 1 so this is what in every loop is it will do so it will figure out uh, how many counts it will do the only thing you here you are seeing is that in every condition or every iteration it is taking one as a pair or one data as a pair that what is the value containing in that but it is updating the TC with the twice the value means it's updating double it's not updating the single value because the situation is when we are taking 6 minus 1 or 6 minus 5 so in this situation we are getting 2 and 2 and that is cumulating to 4 but at the end of the day this is not 4 pairs we have we have only either 1 comma 5 or 5 comma 1 there is no other pairing can be performed so TC is updated twice than the actual result so we need to divide that value so to do that we have to return the division of this particular data so return twice count integral division with 2 so this is going to return the exact value which we are going to get or the number of pairs is which is possible from the existing area now let's try to run this particular solution and try to see whether our implementation is coming right or it's having some issue so here you are seeing that the output is coming so here the output is coming as expected which is 4 why we are getting 4 let's see the number of pairs from the dry run so we have taken the array as 1 5 7 1 5 now what are the pairs it is achievable if we take first two 1 5 another one we can take as 5 1 another pair which we can take is this one and this 5 and another pair which we can take is this 5 and this one So total number of pairing which we can do to achieve 6 is 4. Total number of count is also 4. So that what we are getting here as well. So this is how we implement it. So the basic logic here is we are tracking first of all the count of each array elements in their particular index value of M. Now we are taking a twice count value. In twice count value we are checking in every loop is what is the value containing in that particular index of m so suppose 2 we are just updating the twice count and twice count is updated twice the actual value it's always updating the value twice the actual size suppose if we have 1 then it is taking the 2 as an data to add there so in this situation we need to finally return the value divided by 2 now why this situation if condition because there is one situation in which we might get an situation where ARR of I and 
the error of i itself giving the sum so in this situation we are not desiring this one because we want pairing of or the element should be in unique pairing there so in this situation we are taking this as an exclusion so we are negating that value also from the twice count and finally what we are achieving is the answer of this particular question thank you